we, Michael and I have been uh, together for 20 years. We've known each other since we met at the Eugene, Eugene O'Neill Foundation in Waterford, Connecticut. I was uh, doing a play uh, that was going touring Connecticut. Michael was a resident actor at the uh, Playwrights Conference there. And uh, our play, The Contrast, which was directed by Worthington Minor, was going to open the, 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 um, the conference that year. And they put us up in a farmhouse. And you know, it was very, I looked out the window in the morning. I saw they were building an amphitheater. And there were a bunch of people out there pouring cement and, and laying concrete blocks. So I figured these were the actors. So I go out and meet them. And there was this you know, guy with hair down to his shoulders. It was in 1966. I, same. I had long hair and uh, you know, was very sick at the uh, time. You know, we had a lot of things in common, Michael and I. You know, it was summertime, very beautiful women around. We were chasing them like crazy. And you know, we wanted to be actors. It was our first paying job as actors. See, this tonight. is the, the greatest misconception that ever was uh, perpetrated by Mr. Douglas and Ms. Turner, that Ralph was a bad guy. That, ro that emerald that they got away with in, in Romancing the Stone, right, was just as much mine as it was theirs. They left me like a dog on the dock with the Federales. I was stuck in a prison for like six, eight months, chained to some dead guy for three, four weeks. You know, I claw myself out of there, chase them across three continents, and then finally find them in the south of France, where they squandered the money on beer nuts and linen suits. Do you know what I'm saying? So. You know, Ralph is not a bad guy. I didn't want to kidnap the girl in the last movie. It was Ira. Ira left me with all the, uh, he took the trinkets and left me there like a dog. But luckily, we get wind of the jewel of the Nile, and uh, maybe I get a little bit of my just rewards. What were you saying, Lisa? Most of the people think this, you know? I mean, it's just we've got to straighten this out. Sure. I don't think Ralph is similar to Louis at all. Louis was really, uh, uh, you know, I mean, he was a, a low-life uh, kind of uh, uh, man was, uh, you know, uh, never would leave his cage. I mean, after Taxi, uh, every network has offered me all these, you know, the, 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 the TV shows, and and none of them have come close to working with, you know, the experience I had working with those wonderful actors on Taxi and and Jim Brooks and Ed Weinberger and Stan Daniels, Dave Davis, the people who created the show. And it's just, uh, you know, something that. Uh, you know, people have, ask me if I'd ever go back on television, I, and I always say that if, you know, if something came along that was exciting, you know, uh, varied roles if I can. Meanwhile, you know, if the roles are similar, uh, try to come at them, you know, in another way, look at them and, you know, from another, you know, direction. Yeah, because Michael's <laughs> coming in here. <laughs> I saw him coming. You know, he's on my lap. <laughs> If you ask me about Ree, he might be upset. Oh, go we, ahead. We, we have yeah. this image of the two of you, not you two, but you and Ria, <laughs> as these uh, real sassy, uh, oh, wise Rhea? guys. Uh, I want to know Rhea? what it's like in your kitchen. What it's like in our kitchen, we got, like, sort of the stove is over on that wall. You know what I mean? There's the kid, there's, there's this, this sink, and then the refrigerator is a big refrigerator. Over there's a table. You mean Ree and I? Yes. I, I make the pancakes, she makes the eggs. I make the pancakes, she makes the eggs. You believe that you're bad. <laughs> right, right. Excuse this me. This is something that <laughs> he's been, he's been uh, looking for for a while now. We, we've just been flying all over the country. And I'm telling you, 20 years, he hasn't, he's been dying it, you know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I'm, that's not the kind of guy I am. Okay. Yeah. You know, Rhea and I, you know, uh, we've been together for 15 years, and we have two wonderful children, and we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a lot to laugh about, you know, in our lives. And, uh, you know, where we, we uh, you know, we don't, uh, you know, it's not the acerbic kind of relationship that you would imagine that you would have from Carla and Louie, but, you know, but we have sick friends like Michael Douglas who keep us laughing. Like we're sitting around, there's nothing to do, we just think of him, you know what I'm saying? Wow! <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my God, what do we do now? Oh, I can't wait to get home and tell her about this, this tour for Jewel of the Nile. This guy has been like a, just a remarkable person. I mean, it's, it's going down in history, the things he's done in the last eight days. This is Michael Douglas signing yeah. off and with Danny DeVito. <laughs>